Today we are going to look at different aircraft used by dictators of World War II. These include a distinctive outfit armored and ideally black automobiles, an armored train, and a specific troop of heavily armed bodyguards. A personal jet is the ultimate expression of authority for the genuinely ascending autocrat, and these trappings have now become standard for all international leaders, regardless of political inclination. Airborne leaders were a relatively new phenomenon during the World War II, and the mean of travel for the World War II dictators have since become typical for an international leaders. Beginning with his election campaign in the late 1920s and early 1930s, Adolf Hitler was the first contemporary politician to fly by plane on a regular basis. His personal pilot Hans Bauer persuaded him that the Focke Wolf FW200 Condor was better to the earlier Ju-52. Because of its massive 33-meter wingspan, the Condor was called after the giant Andean bird, and the Hitler was usually flown by Bauer who eventually became a general in the SS rather than the Luftwaffe. Hitler's plane cockpit had an equipment compartment with the flight engineer's panel, radio operator and navigator positions, two defensive positions, a top turret with a 13mm MG-131 machine gun and a ventral turret with the 7.9mm MG-15. The personal cabin was protected by 12mm of armor plate and 15mm of bulletproof glass. Hitler's unique parachute chair which allowed him to escape through a hole in the aircraft's floor was the most original element in the cabin. A passenger compartment with six chairs was located behind Hitler's stateroom. To reduce sun glare, privacy curtains were installed at each cabin's windows. The inside was made up of polished wood similar to a Pullman train coach. A steward delivered meals and hot drinks as needed and the plane had a tiny galley in the back. Cooking was not permitted, and instead, insulated cabinets held preheated meals, hot coffee, hot water, tea, and no alcohol was provided on board. Hitler's plane was followed by a second condor, which was staffed with caring personnel like military adjutants and maids. Security was tight, and precautions were taken to avoid the use of explosives. To avoid this, Hitler's plane was flown for 10 to 15 minutes test flight, including cruising altitudes. This test flight was carried out to confirm that the barometric fuse did not make any ticking noises and exploded once the plane reached a specific height. On July 18, 1944, an Allied bombing strike on Tempelhof Airport in Berlin destroying Hitler's aircraft. He then flew a focke Wolf FW200 C4-1 type, which Heinrich Hemmler and Grand Admiral Karl Donuts also utilized. At the conclusion of the war, Hitler was set to switch to a larger jet the Yonkers Ju-290, which was destroyed in Bavaria on April 24, 1945, during an American airstrike. Hitler was still trying to lead Berlin's defense from his bunker. At the conclusion of the World War II, Hitler's replacement Condor aircraft was flown by a Flensburg in northern Germany. In May 1945, British forces seized it undamaged and flew it to RAF Wenbro for examination in July. It was on public exhibition in October and November 1945 before being dismantled on December 15, 1946. Hitler's arch enemy, Joseph Stalin, possessed a fleet of black armored limousines, a bodyguard unit, and an armored train. He flew only once to the Tehran Conference in 1943 and instead traveled by armored rail. The Yak PE 8 was the Soviet VIB aircraft of the day and it was initially used by a foreign minister, Molotov. Stalin travelled to Tehran on the Lend-Lease C-47 Skytrain, which was configured for VIP transport. Benito Mussolini was the ruler of Italy from 1922 to 1945, and his personal plane was the Savoia Marchetti SM-81. It was a three-engine bomber and transport capable of travelling at 170 miles per hour. It was armed with four machine guns, each with single 7.7mm Brader machine gun in two power turrets. Due to its slow cruising speed, Mussolini's personal plane was dubbed Terra Toga, Italian for turtle. In September 1943, Mussolini was rescued by the Germans and placed as the puppet leader of the Italian Social Republic in Northern Italy. He no longer had his own Italian plane and any trip he did was done with the help of his German bodyguards. His SM-81's fate is unknown, however, it does not appear to have survived the war. A handful of them did service in the Italian Air Force after the World War II until 1950, when they were decommissioned.
In the late 1920s, General Lissimo Chiang Kai-shek was an effective ruler of the nationalist China. During the war, he was severely corrupt and untrustworthy ally of the United States and Britain. Chiang had been quite close with Germany before the war and his personal plane was a Yonkers Ju-52 3-M. Julian, his personal pilot at the time, was an American who died in 1939. During the World War II, Chiang switched to a Douglas C-47 piloted by the American Captain Roy Leonard. The Yonkers 52 was one of the eight aircraft dispatched to China, seven of which served with Eurasia and the eight of which was purchased by the nationalist government of the Shang's use. President Shang was given a C-47 by the U.S. Air Force in 1947, which he and his wife used to flee to Taiwan in 1949. Shang died in 1975 after being defeated in the Chinese Civil War, although his personal jet was continuously used as a VIP transport until 1981. It is presently on an exhibit at Taiwan's Taoan Aircraft Museum. Mao Zedong took over as China's leader in 1949, succeeding Chiang Kai-shek and swiftly gained all the trappings of the totalitarian authority. In 1954, Stalin sold China 49 Lucian IL-14 airliners, which were transformed into VIP transportation for Mao and other government officials. These were modified 14Ms with a longer fuselage. The IL-14 is a twin-piston engine aircraft with a short to medium range that first flew in the Soviet Union in July 1950. Chinese models were still in use until the late 1990s. VIP aircraft were designed in a typical communist style with a separate seating chair for Chairman Mao and senior leaders, diamond beds in the rear cabin and a working lavatory in the tail portion. The plane had a four-person flying crew, a top speed of 259 miles per hour and a service ceiling of 24,000 feet. With fully loaded, the range was around 800 miles. Mao's use of these planes ended in 1969 when they were replaced by three British Hawkers Sidley Trident. The Shanghai Aviation Museum has this specific IL-14. Thanks for watching. I have more similar videos on my channel that you may like. See you guys in the next video.